today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet that I'm calling my faceted flowers bracelet and here's what it looks like and here's what it looks like on so for this project you're going to need a number of items you're going to need some faceted round trios and I'm going to use the white Lila Vega Luster for today's project and again they have to be the faceted ones and these are exclusive to Potomac Bead Company so you will have to get them purchase them with the Potomac Bead Company you will need size 8 millimeter beads these will only go in the center of your unit oh, I forgot to mention for your round trios you will need six per unit so the number you will need in all will depend on the number of units you will make for your bracelet. I used, I made six units in mine and I used six per each unit so I used a total of 36 in all. For your eight millimeter bead that's going to go in the center and you will need one per unit and I'm just going to use some glass pearls. You will need some two by three rondelles and I'm using the Potomac Company rondelles. I'm going to use the brown iris and you will need six per unit on those as well. You will also need some seed beads and I'm going to use different colors here. I'm going to use the uh, the Miyuki Champagne. I'm going to use the Miyuki Dark Topaz Rainbow and for my 15 O's I'm going to use the um, Miyuki Champagne. Oh, for the for my third color, because I'm going to use three colors of the 11-0s, I'm going to be using the gunmetal color. So that's what you're going to need for your seed beads. Now you don't have to use you don't have to use three colors. You can use just one color. On this one, I used four different colors of the 11-0s. On this one, I'm going to be using three of the 11-0s, one of the 15-0s. You will also need, for this part, the connecting part here, where I use an iris jewel, I'm going to be using the Aztec Gold Iris Duos in the one I'm going to make with you today because I like how the iris duos looked. But I think for that part, it's you have options. You do not have to use iris duos. You can probably use um, just about any two-hole bead um, or you can do a little connector of an 11 a rondelle, and an 11 So um, it's up to you how you want to connect your units. But like I said, I really like how these iris duos look. The iris duos are also exclusive to Potomac Bead Company so you will have to purchase them with them as well. To string everything, I'm going to use Wildfire Beading Thread in Green, 0 .006. You will. This is a one needle project, so a size 10 beading needle will work. To fasten my bracelet, I use a cut button, and I will be using a cut button on the one I'm going to make for you today as well. And I'm going to use the White Lila Vega Luster Cut Button. Tools, you will need... Um, Scissors. I'm going to use this uh, Ultra Thread Zap to cut my thread. And you might use, these are optional, you might need some flat nose pliers. You might, you might not, but have them with you in case you need them. So go ahead and get your materials together and we will get started. Oh, and when you string your beading needle, go ahead and string the amount of thread you're comfortable working with because you will have to add thread and um, I think I'm going to string mine with about six feet so that's what I'm going to use and then I'll just add it, add it as needed so, heading, so go ahead and get your supplies and I will show you what to do first Okay, so once you have little piles of all your beads, and you will have to make little piles of everything uh, right at the beginning because you are going to use everything. The only thing you know you don't need to have make a pile of is your eight millimeters. You can just take those out as you need them because those 
do take up a um, little bit of space. Now, this is not a project where we're going to, where we do a component, tie it off, do another one, tie it off, and then join them. We're going to do a component, do it completely, and then we move on to our unit here, and then we do our next component. So it's just one continuous bracelet. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do, oh, and you will not need a stop bead because we are going to tie a knot at the beginning. So pick up six round trios, well, pick up six round trios separated by an 11 -o. So you're gonna do round trio, 11 -0, round trio, 11 -0, round trio, 11 -0. And when you pick up your round trio, pick it up through, put your needle in through one of your end holes, not your middle, one of your end holes. And uh, so go ahead and do that. And I have already checked all of my holes. They're clear, so we're good to go. So I'm going to pick up all of my round trios with an 11 -0 in between them. And once you do that, we will tie a knot. But when you tie your knot, do not tie it super tight, just tie it snug to where everything's together, but you don't have to use your, your flat nose pliers to make sure that it's very tight. Just tie it okay. So I have, so this is what you should have. You have six 11 O's, three, four, five, six and six, four, six round trios. And then move these to the, toward the end of your thread and just tie a snug knot, nothing crazy tight. And you will know why in a bit. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to tie it one more time. Okay, I got my knot. Now, you're in between, your knot is in between an 11 -0 and a round trio. Go into your round trio through that same hole we're using, that same end hole that we've threaded all the other beads with. Go through that, oops, and if you catch your 11 -0, that's fine. So I am through that hole, just making sure. Okay. And pull your knot in into, into your round trio. That way your knot is not in, in the way here, in between your beads. It's in your round trio. Okay. Now skip o now go into the round trio next to that 11 0. You don't want to use, just make sure you do not. I mean, I don't think you'll be able to, but just make sure you're not in that same round trio where you just put your where you just put your knot in. Okay, so you're coming out of your round trio. Pick up, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this because it's going to be bugging me. Pick up your 8-0, put your needle through it. Now we're gonna set it here in the middle of all of our beads. So I'm coming out of this round trio like this. I'm going to go into the round trio directly across it, but going in through the opposite direction. So like this, like that add a diagonal so pull and once you're coming out go through your 8-0 again and pull and you're going to go into that round trio again but see where you can see your thread where you're coming out of you're going to go in in the opposite direction like that so you kind of have a crisscross going on and that will set your 8 there. And it looks really, there's a lot of thread showing. That's okay. We are going to cover that completely. This is how. 
So you're coming out of your round trio, go into your, gotta switch hands, go into your 11 0 next to it. And this is why you don't tie your thread, you're not super tight. You're going to go in through all of your 11 0s, but you are going to do 11 0 rondelle 11 0 in between each one. So I have my 11 0 rondelle 11 0, and I'm going to pick up the next 11 0 in my path. And you're going to do that all the way around. So pick up 11 0 rondelle 11 0 and go in through your next 11 0 in line. And it's really easy. Really, really easy. So I've already done two. Go ahead and do the rest, picking up 11 0 rondelle. 11 0 going in through your already existing 11 0 here and so forth and I will meet you back okay so I added all of my 11 0's and rondelles um, or 11 0 rondelle 11 0 all around my going in through my existing 11 0 here so after your last one I'm coming out of the 11 0 here which is the one that we put at the start of our project. Now you're going to go up the 11 0 that you just added, I mean in the in the go round that you just added, and through the rondelle. And now what we're going to do is we're going to connect all these beads that we've just added together. So, we're, so I'm coming out of the rondelle. You're going to go in through the 11 0 you just added, skip the existing 11 that we put at the beginning of our project and go through your rondelle and just make sure that you're following your thread path so through the rondelle my 11 I just added I'm gonna pull go up the other 11 that I just added go through the rondelle so this is going to put a thread connecting everything that you just added and it's going to make these sit better so go through all of these in your project and this is an easy part actually and it only gets easier from here this is not a difficult component to make. It, a project might look difficult when it has all these seed beads, but a lot of times you'll find that they're really not. Okay. So I'm almost done. And I have one more. Now see, by the time you get to the last one, they're just going to sit really nice the way the rest of them are, but you still want to put, I can't see, you still want to put a thread in there. Okay, so I'm coming out of that one and I'm going up the other one that I just added. Okay, so now we're coming out of our rondelle. Now we're going to add one more go round of 11 O's and we're only going to go through our rondelles. So I'm coming out of a rondelle I'm going to pick up my other color, the 11 0, which is the same one I used at the beginning, the champagne. Coming out of this rondelle, put on an 11 0. I'm going to go through my next rondelle and line. So we're going to connect our rondelles. And it's going to bring in everything really, really nice. See how you kind of have this space there? It's this, this part is going to eliminate that. And you can already see it happening. So 11 0, go through rondelle. Can I get another 11 0? Go through my rondelle. Pull. I hope my thumb isn't too in the way. 11 0, 
Rondell. And make sure that your thread doesn't twist when you're putting these. So this is I'm putting on my last 11 and I'm going to come out of my rondelle. And now we're going to go back down and we're going to see now this one twisted. But just make sure you catch it before you go further. So I'm coming out of my rondelle. I'm going to go in through the 11 not the 11 I just added. The one I added when I was adding the two. So just go through that one. And then once you go through that one, and again I'm going through when I remember when you did the 11 0 rondelle 11 0 through those 11 0s. But you're only going to go through the one that's next to your rondelle. So go through that one and then make your way down to the 11 0 from the beginning of the project and go into your round trio through that same end hole. And it's very easy. You will be able to do it. It's not hard. So I'm coming out of my round trio. I'm going to hop on over to the middle hole of my round trio and I'm going to add between each round trio another 11 0 and I'm going to use the this topaz rainbow color and that's all you're going to do here just go through the middle hole of your round trio adding an 11 0 in between each round trio. So we are done with the most difficult part of the component, which is, which was this part here. Now we're just adding the, the finishing touches. So I already put in the last of my middle row there. Now I'm going to hop on to the last, to my other outer hole, the one that has, the one that we, the one that we have not put anything through it yet. Now here is where you're going to do 15-0, and I'm going to use my third color of 11-0. 15-0, 11-0, 15-0. go through your next round trio. And this is it for your component. Once you do this, your little unit will be complete. And it is very firm. It's not floppy at all. It's very, very, it's a sturdy unit. I really like it. And I need to burn my thread down. My little tail came out on this side, but that's okay. I'll get rid of it. So 15-0, 11-0, 15-0, all the way around. So go ahead and finish that, and I will show you how, to, how I did this part of my bracelet. Okay, so I finished my first little unit, and I said I was going to show you how to do this part, but I forgot. We need to put our cut button first. So get your cut button. And um, you will need an iris duo, or you don't have to connect it to your middle, to your unit here. You can just connect it directly off of your round trio, but I'm going to use an iris duo because I like how it looks. So you, <clears throat> you should be coming out of your end hole of your round trio. And I'm just going to pick up an 11 0 my iris duo. And then since I'm using three different colors of seed beads, I'm going to pick up all three different colors that I'm using. I just think it looks cute. So pick up three 11 O's, pick up your cut button, and then three more 11 O's there to embellish your cut button. And I'm just gonna use these colors. Or you can put a crystal too if you like, go through your cut button and then you will need three more 11 O's, and I'm going to use the same ones that I used when I went up the other hole. Go down your iris duo, 
pick up one 11 L and go through your round trail through that outer hole and don't catch the 15 on the other side because we need to reinforce this so this is what I have you should have something similar if you're using an iris tool you should have what I have okay and then I'm going up whoops I didn't catch that bead but okay I got it now it's always a good idea to catch that one end bead when you go up your cut button the one that's right above the hole because you're gonna have a hard time going through it okay go down my cut button down these two here and only because I'm videoing I'm not going to reinforce it again because it's it's not fun to watch so I'm coming out here I'm going to go through my round trio and I'm going to sew till I get to the opposite round trio over here on this side. So go through your round trio. This time if you catch your 15-0, which I did not, it's fine. Now I can do it. And then I'm just going to sew all the way around till I get to my round trio on the opposite side and what I'm going to do is do this little unit again that I did with my iris duo because that's my little connector so I'm coming out of my round trio and I'm just going to do the same thing I'm going to do 11 0 iris duo 11 0 now we got to pick up our next round trio. So pick up a round trio, put your needle in through an outer hole, not your middle, go through it, pick up an 11-0, go through your iris duo, if you are using an iris duo, if not, go through whatever bead you're using, pick up another 11-0, and go through this round trio, do not catch the 15-0, and go through all of this little, all these beads that you've added one more time so that we reinforce our little connector unit. So I'm going through everything again. Coming out of my round trio, going up my 11-0, my iris duo, going in through my 11-0 that I just added and through through this round trio again. The outer hole, make sure you stay in your outer hole and you don't go through the middle hole. And then I'm coming out and then I'm gonna go up to my round trio. So, out of this 11 -0 and into that outer hole of your round trio. And pull. Now, we need to sew, we are coming out of this outer hole. We need to go through the middle hole so that we can make our way to the other outer hole, which will be our innermost, our, not our innermost hole, but our other outer hole towards the middle of your, here, of your little unit. So now we're going to pick up the rest of our round duo, uh, round trios and our 11 O's to make our little base for our unit. So it's 11 0, round trio, 11 0, round trio, and again, make sure you are picking up all of your round trios. You're going in through the outer hole, one of your end holes, not your middle. And now, when you pick up your beads you're only going to pick up five of your round trios because you already have one there so and why am I spilling all of my 15 O's geez okay 11 0 and round trio 11 0 
round trio. And remember, you have one already here, so you just need five. One, two, three, four, five. So since you already have a round trio there, when you pick up your succession, it's going to be, you're going to start with an 11-0 and end with an 11-0. That way, when you connect, your unit is the way it's supposed to be with six 11 O's and six round trios. Now you're going to be tempted to reinforce. You do not have to. You can just go straight away starting to do, um, put in your eight millimeter bead, which I should have taken out, but didn't because it's very loose, right? But it's not gonna stay that way. This, all of this, sewing that you do on here after you add your eight millimeter bead is going to um, firm that up really good. So you're coming out of your round trio, just do the same thing you did. When you added your 8-0, go to the round trio directly across from it, coming out, go back into your 8-0, and come out and go back into that round trio the opposite way that you uh, came out of. And there you go. We're ready to do our, our embellishing. So you're coming out of this round trio, go through your 11-0 and do all of that with your 11-0 and your, I cannot see this. This is easy except when you're videoing like I am and you have not the best eyesight it, it's hard but it's not a hard project okay so I'm coming out of my 11 0 now I'm ready to do all of this again so go ahead and do that and I will clean up my mess here and I will show you what to do next um you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do this with you again but I'll be right back. Okay, so we just put in our, our eight millimeter bead here. We went through our round trio, came out of our 11-0. So I'm gonna do this again with you. It's 11-0 rondel, 11-0. Go into your next round, 11-0 uh, in line and pull and that's all you're going to be doing just going through your 11 o's but putting going through your existing 11 o's already on your base piece but putting a 11 o rondel 11 o in between them so and this is a really pretty color of rondel i really like this it's so shiny. I wasn't sure if it would have if it would match with these beads because there's just so much color going on. But it looks nice. So I'm liking it. So and we're almost we're halfway done. And this really is the most difficult part of your project. And it's not even difficult, so that's good. So, need a couple more groupings here. And then go through here. And now this one is much easier because this does not have a knot uh, at the beginning when we did our base. So it does get easier to do this. The first one is harder because you tied a knot. So even though you don't tie up, uh, even though you don't tie a, a, a strong knot, it was still a little bit more difficult. Not that difficult, but it, it gets easier. Okay, so I'm going in through my existing 11-0 from our base. And now I'm going to connect all of these beads I just added by going through the 11 O's that I just added with the rondelles. So coming out of my rondelle, I'm going to pick up the 11 I just added, the two that I just added actually, that are in between the rondelles. Go through the rondelle and go, and you're gonna do this 
all the way around and so this is what you do go through your 11 -0 here 11 -0 here and you have make sure you skip the one that's already there from our from when we did our base go and then go through the rondelle and go through the next 11 -0 from the one from the grouping that I just added and I have one more grouping to do one or two I have two more groupings to do so I'm going to coming out of the rondelle going through the 11 O's that I just added just now with my rondelles coming out of my rondelle and picking up they're a lot easy they are easy to pick up but it's like I said I'm doing it on camera okay so I'm coming out of my rondelle I've already um, connected them now we're going to close this off by joining our rondelles together putting an 11 O in between each one whoops and make sure that your thread doesn't get all twisty when you put these 11 O's. It's going to want to do that. Don't, just make sure you catch it. So, coming along, we're closing this up, going in through each of our rondelles, putting an 11 out in between each one and then go go ahead and go through your next grouping going through the rondelle the 11 out that you added from this run go through it and then come out oh I didn't go through it go through it and then come out of the next rondelle now from this rondelle Go down and catch one of those 11 O's from the groupings of two that you added, only one. And then go down into your 11 O from your base, from your base uh, run, and go through that outer hole of your round trio that we threaded everything through. And go through it. Once you go through it, hop on over to the, whoops. My glasses fell through the middle hole. And now you're ready to do um, this part, which is just adding an 11 -0. So all you're gonna do here is add an 11 -0 through each of your round, round trios. Again, you're going through your middle hole. Once you add that one 11 -0 through all of your round trios in the, in the middle hole, hop on over to the outer hole and do 11, um, 15-0, 11-0, 15-0. And then do your center component again. And go ahead and do as many as you need for your wrist. I did six on mine, but mine is fairly small. Yeah, mine is fairly small. I mean, I can put my finger in here, but do as many as you need. Your bracelet won't shrink, so when you get to the length that you want, go ahead and stop and we'll do our loop. Okay, so I have completed my bracelet and I made the number of units that I needed to make a bracelet to fit me and I made six just the way I did on this one. And all I did when I ended it was when I finished my last unit, I connected my iris dual the way I did here with the gunmetal 11 -0, the iris duo, and all I did was make my loop off of my iris duo, went through my iris duo, put in another 11 -0, and then went through my round trio, and then I just went through all of these beads all over again, and I reinforced it. I actually reinforced it three times, and it was no problem since I'm using 11 -0s for my loop. So that's how you end it. Once you reinforce it, all I did was, or all I did was go back through my round trio. I came out here, 
after my 15 o here in my grouping, so 15 o 11 o 15 o I mean, yeah, 15 o 11 o 15 o I tied a half hitch knot here between my 15 o and 11 o and I took my knot in through my 11 o and then I went through this 15 o and I actually tied a knot behind this 15 o and brought it into the round trio. And then I did another knot here before this 11 o after this 15 o and brought in through the round trio. So that's how you end it. You just do half hitch knot, half hitch knots, and it's best to do your knots before an 11 o or before your round trio. That way you can pull, when you pull your thread, you can pull your knot into those beads. It's harder to pull your knot into a 15 o So just don't do a knot before a 15 o so this is what we have. This is the end result and it's very shiny. It's very nice and I really like these colors and I love that I had a cup button to match my round trios. So this is what we got. Very simple bracelet. Very, very simple. Looks, I think with all the seed beads and with the rondelles on top, with the shininess, when you first look at it, it looks like something difficult to make, but it's really not. So I hope you enjoyed making this and thank you very much for watching.